On today's episode of the Cryptoverse, we're going to look at Utopian, a GitHub-like platform where people contribute to open source projects, but the difference is you can now earn cryptocurrency for your contributions. That's a game changer. So all of that coming up on today's episode of the Cryptoverse, so stay right there. Hi there guys, welcome to the latest episode of the Cryptoverse, your regular dose of news and commentary on Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and blockchains. I'm your host, Chris Coney. So I've chosen to talk about Utopian today because they've just launched a proper landing page to use to promote their platform. Like I said in the prologue, imagine GitHub, but with cryptocurrency rewards. I'll show you the inside of the Utopian platform in a moment, but they have this sync with GitHub feature inside the login area, which is a big plus in my eyes. So we know already that an ever-increasing percentage of software is open source. And the main reason for that, I would say, is trust. And then the second reason I would say is that crowdsourcing creative ideas is better than getting it from a small group of people or what Utopian refers to here as collective intelligence instead of the standards imposed by superiors, like in a hierarchical organization, for example. Now, Utopian isn't just for programmers, however. If we scroll down to the moderators section, there's something right above that. Here it is. In the moderators section, above that, we see all of the categories that contributions can fall into. So we got suggestions, translations is in here somewhere. There are graphic design skills required. And the category that I would be most likely to submit to is one in here called video tutorials. And then speaking of the moderator section, the platform also has human moderators that earn rewards by doing like quality control on the submissions and then Ultimately, the platform sustains itself by taking you know, a percentage of the rewards as a fee. It says down here, actually, with regards to the moderators, 5% of the total contributor rewards go to the moderators based on the amount of contributions that they review. And if you're wondering where the money comes from, if we go back to the rewards section of the landing page here, where it says, who pays the rewards? The answer is, it comes from the Steam blockchain. So if you've been following me, following me for any length of time, you'll probably know what Steam is because I post all of my content on there. And um, it's a blockchain platform that allocates newly created cryptocurrency to people based on how the community votes. So the Steam community votes when they believe someone has added value to the Steam ecosystem, and then that person gets a share of newly created Steam. So it's different to Bitcoin where only the miners get paid with newly created coins. In Steam, the community decides what's valuable and that's the basis on which the blockchain distributes newly created coins. Now this ecosystem is now starting to flower into lots of sub-communities consisting of lots of other projects that are built to make use of this Steam rewards system. And there's a, a section on the landing page here called Choose a Project. Here it is. And this lists all of the various other apps that are built on the Steam blockchain that are using this reward system, right? Where the community votes on what's valuable and then they get the newly created coins. So we've got the original steamit.com website, which is like Reddit with rewards. You've got Busy, which is a Facebook clone using a similar system. The Utopian site itself, WordPress DTube, which is a decentralized YouTube. And again, if you hit the like button on DTube, it generates some actual cryptocurrency rewards for the video creator rather than just you know a like on YouTube. And you've got eSteam, the mobile app, and many more coming along down the pipeline. So let's take a look inside Utopian, right? I've got that open in another tab here. Like all apps built on the Steam blockchain, you can log into all of the Steam-based apps using the same Steam account. So this is cool, so you take all of your reputation with you, it's a single login, just like if you see the option like login with Facebook, for example, that's kind of like login with your Steam account, right? 
So here on the right hand side is that sync with GitHub feature that I mentioned earlier, meaning you can just suck in all your existing GitHub entries rather than starting from scratch. If you don't have any, it's fine. You can just start from scratch on Utopian. But if you've got an existing GitHub repository, then this is going to be a godsend. And then they've also got this horizontal scroll bar right up here, which allows you to skip through the various um, categories that entries fall into. To my mind, this is still quite hard to navigate, but Utopian is also still in its early stages of development, so I'll cut them some slack on that front. The funny thing is that you can actually use the Utopian platform to submit suggestions on how to improve the Utopian platform. So it's kind of a self-evolving system, so to speak. Now, if you want to make a submission, I just go up here to the blue button and I hit contribute. I select the category. So in my case, I was going to make a video tutorial. Here we go. You accept the various rules that um, qualify for an, a submission. You click I understand and proceed. And then another crazy feature here is this search feature, which is integrated with the existing GitHub system. So if, for example, I type in EOS, EOS, and then press enter, the search function runs, and then it displays a list of existing projects on GitHub, like the documentation for EOS and token distribution app. There's a whole bunch of them. This is amazing. So you can check this out for yourself at um, utopian.io. It's free to join and it's free to use because you know it's a self-funding system via the Steam blockchain. And that means it has an, an element of sustainability built right in. I think this model is preferable to an ICO in many ways because it allows a little bit of stuff to be built, then rewarded, then another bit to be built based on the feedback from the first version, then that can be rewarded and so on. So this is an insight I had way back in my days as a web design and marketing agency dude. I've, I realized that websites and online platforms like this, they're not projects, they are processes. So it's the whole idea of getting to a minimum viable product so it can be launched and then it's continually evolved and co-created with the users and it never ends. A project has a definitive start and end point, which is what I saw was a flaw when building websites. They're never finished. There's always something to be improved, right? So that's why I think this whole ecosystem is a system and it will go round and round and round and it, all of these open source projects will evolve, you know, indefinitely, right? So that's better than an ICO, in my opinion. That's also how DTube has been built, uh, as well as other Steam apps, and I, and I quite like it. And of course... I'm happy about this because I'm going to, well, this thing is going to add a great amount of value to the Steam cryptocurrency, which I happen to hold quite a bit of. But then again, that's why I got a hold of a lot of it, because I could see its potential and see how valuable the Steam blockchain was as a platform, which was going to give birth to projects like Utopian. So in conclusion for today, then, we know that you know, incentives are the name of the game in this world of cryptocurrencies, right? And in just in general, in game theory. Up until now, contributions to open source projects have gone well, largely unrewarded, financially speaking. And this utopian thing brings us a great way for talented people from lots of different disciplines to contribute to open source projects and be rewarded. And that incentive can only attract more talented people to the increasingly important open source software industry. So, Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. If you like this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, why not get subscribed and hit that bell icon so YouTube will let you know as soon as I upload a new video. And also, if you would like access to my very best material, such as my online courses that will take you step by step through the process of things like making a saving money with Bitcoin, you can check out Cryptoversity.com and click on the courses section. All right, guys, that is all for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of the Cryptoverse. So until then, it's me, Chris Coney, saying bye for now.